that summer can be a tough time of year when it comes to your vegetable garden. Knowing what to grow is very important. We turn to Jeff Ray now for this week's Gardening 101. If you're wanting to try some summer planting for your vegetable garden, there are some easy paths to success. But the window is closing on planting sweet potatoes, okra, and southern peas. I wished I could have got them in the ground a little earlier, actually. For urban farmer George Pavlik, black eyed peas are a staple for his garden. These are more bush variety, so I'm not expecting to trellis these. You'll start getting your crop in about 60 days. Start to pick the full size pods, and the plant will continue to produce. Southern peas include Crowder peas, Purple Hole peas, and Cream peas. This is another great plant if you want a lot of production across the season. You can plant these as early as mid April. Replace your early greens with them to keep your garden producing in the hot months. Another sure bet plant for summer okra. Okra likes heat. Even to, to uh, germinate the seed, the ground's got to be really warm. George grows Clemson spineless. Pick the okra when it gets about three inches long. You'll have to pick almost every day. Let one get away from you. The plant will decide that it's done because it's made seed to uh, reproduce and it'll stop producing pods. Pick often and the plant will produce through the fall, getting taller as it goes. I've had them get over 10 feet tall by the end of the season. Yes. If you've ever pan fried them as small medallions, you'll grow them every year, I promise. Planting the right summer crops can lead a path right to your kitchen. That's a good start. Summer gardens in the Texas heat, a gardening 101. Ooh, nothing like fried okra and black eyed peas, right? So if you have a question about your garden, all you have to do is go to our website, cbsnewstexas.com, click on the gardening 101 link, submit it to Jeff, and he will try to find you up an answer.